2021 School District 45 Promotional Exercises. As the superintendent of District 45, I couldn't be more proud of the class of 2021 as they have endured one of the most challenging times in world history. It is a profound thought to know that many years from now, the children and perhaps even grandchildren of our graduates may watch this presentation one day to see what life was like in school for mom or dad or even grandma and grandpa during COVID-19. Graduates, you have learned to navigate an ever-changing and dynamic world, our mission and vision in District 45. You have overcome the greatest obstacles and challenges a class of graduates has ever faced in school. From remote learning to in-person learning, wearing protective masks, temperature checks upon entering school, and learning in very different ways, you are now more ready for the future than ever before. Thank you to our teachers, our staff, and our principals who successfully prepared you for high school and beyond. And thank you to all our parents who weathered these challenging times and for collaborating with us to ensure high levels of learning for all. Please enjoy this presentation and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Palmisano, for your welcome and for starting our promotional exercise for the class of 2021. We are thrilled to have our eighth grade students, their families, and friends join us on this most important day for all our graduates. This ceremony is a rite of passage and a major milestone in the educational journey of every student. To reflect back on what we've collectively accomplished this year, we've prepared two speeches composed for you by two outstanding students. In a few moments, the first speech will be presented to you by the 2021 valedictorian, Ms. Cameron Dooley, with her message to the families, followed by the 2021 salutatorian, Ms. Hannah Daly, with her messages to the graduates. Enjoy their messages. Jay Benson once said, footsteps of success are trailed by fading footprints of failures. Not just in middle school, but throughout our whole lives, we will leave footprints everywhere. Not just in places, but in people. Each of us will leave our mark, but it is up to you, yourself, to try and figure that out. Today we are here to graduate from Jefferson Middle School. Our class, the class of 2021, has left an enormous mark on our school. Today is our day to celebrate. We have been taught by some of the greatest teachers we will ever have. We have impacted the school vastly. Behind us are all the footprints we left. Good or bad, high or low, we are leaving something behind going into high school. High school. Just saying those words already makes it sound scary. We have to start our baby footprints new and fresh and break out of the norm we are used to. We will be the newcomers of the school again, and we will have to go through all the uncertainties that we thought we left behind. Being scared of not finding classes, being introduced to new teachers, creating new friendships. Every footstep forward will be a remembrance of what we went through at the start of middle school. However, every step forward will be filled with new excitements. Everyone has something to look forward to, even if they feel like they don't. With each step towards your future, you are, leaving something be you are leaving behind all the past mistakes you have made and opening your mind to the new and improved steps of success. Yes, we will fall. We will make mistakes. However, we will also rise to the challenge of facing everyday life. Life will not be easy. Life will not go according to plan. We will find a way to work through the unexpected twists and turns. We've talked about the future, but let's rewind a little bit to where some of our footprints were cut short. 2020. It started great. We are all still taking the new year and everyone is excited for the new decade. I remember in my classes, everyone was making jokes about COVID-19 and how it was going to take over the world. Of course, at the time I didn't believe them, but now I look back and I realize that they were kind of right. Half of our eighth grade year, the year that was supposed to be full of freedom and fun, was interrupted by this terrible pandemic. Even though our lives might not have been going according to plan during these times, we still managed to find our way through the hard times and make the world healthier. Right now, I'm so grateful to even be standing here today talking to everyone. Even if it's virtual, the whole world is taking footsteps to success in conquering this virus. As we've gotten closer and closer to this day, I realize that I've always wondered, what does graduation actually mean? Well, it means goodbye, according to my grandpa. 
He always says that after graduation, we will move on with our lives and say goodbye to our past. Well, in that case, he's kind of right. We are saying goodbye to our mistakes and even our successes and opening a new page in our lives to make more tiny and monumental footprints. Yet, this is kind of untrue. We aren't saying goodbye to our past selves. We aren't saying goodbye to everyone that has been with us. We are saying hello to new opportunities coming our way and a whole new world full of possibilities going on to wherever life takes all of us in the future. I wish you the best of luck. If you are attending Willowbrook or not, I hope life takes you in the right direction and I hope that you achieve everything you have dreamed of. As I finish up here today, it is my honor to thank everyone who has helped me through the way. My teachers, my friends, but most importantly, my family. I wouldn't be who I am today without my mom or dad by my side. They have helped me through thick and thin and I am very blessed to have them. I hope you all know that you are worthy of enjoying every moment in your life and I want to congratulate everyone today. We have made it through a confusing yet wonderful time in our lives. I am very proud of everyone here. Your footprints may have been past failures, but the footsteps in front of you will guide you to your future. May all of your footprints lead you to your successes. Don't judge a book by its cover. These are words that every student hears from a teacher at one point or another. This is what the class of 2021 can learn from our years at Jefferson. Walking into the building on the first day of sixth grade, we were nervous and scared. We didn't know what our middle school years would bring. We had an idea of what the cover of middle school would look like, but we still had to fill in the pages. We had all these ideas of what we thought could happen, but we didn't know the future. Middle school is an adventure, and like any book you read, it was full of unexpected twists and turns. Sixth grade overall followed the storyline we were expecting. Events that we had been looking forward to finally arrived. Walking into the school on that first day was exciting. We were able to move classes, and we had our own lockers. There were auditions for the musical, Once Upon This Island. Doing the musical was one of the most rewarding experiences. We were able to take our talents and combine them with the group to create something magical. There were other experiences too, cross country, broadcast club, band, and orchestra, to name a few. Outdoor Ed was a small group of sixth graders. There were so many laughs on that trip. When we returned, people were talking about this special experience. Sixth grade started our years at Jefferson in a way that we would never forget. We were filling in the pages of our middle school years. Then the class of 2021 moved on to seventh grade. The start of the year was exactly what we expected. We could finally participate in sports. Everyone who was involved in a sport experienced being a part of a team. The musical was frozen. There were new friendships to form and new ways to experience middle school. As seventh graders, we had more opportunities than we did in sixth grade. But clearly, the end of seventh grade didn't turn out the way we were expecting it to. Our seventh grade year was unimaginable. We got hit with a pandemic. This wasn't what we were expecting. This was a twist in the plot. Going full remote at the end of seventh grade was challenging. It was different from anything we had ever experienced before. We couldn't see and talk to our friends every day. Suddenly, we had to become more independent. We couldn't ask our teachers every question we had. Everything that we took for granted about school suddenly became more difficult. The end of seventh grade was hard, but it was an obstacle that didn't stop us. Everyone thought that this would just be a twist in the plot, not a twist ending. Thanks to the amazing teachers at our school, managing eighth grade remotely was made as easy as possible. The year wasn't ideal. We had half days, there were multiple schedule changes. However, this only made us more independent. Going back to school in a world that is going through a pandemic clearly wasn't the same as years past. There was social distancing, silent lunches, and no switching classrooms. This is not what our book cover expectation of eighth grade looked like. We thought that eighth grade was going to be easy, that we would have our year, then celebrate. Instead, we have had setbacks, but we still get to celebrate. Even though we didn't get to do everything we had hoped for, like the eighth grade dance and Six Flags, we made the best of a difficult situation. Despite all these differences, we still had the eighth grade picnic and a graduation celebration. There were still things to look forward to. We just had to change our expectations a bit. Our eighth grade year was supposed to prepare us for high school. This pandemic has changed our year. Instead of just being prepared for high school, this year has helped prepare us for the obstacles of life. People might judge our eighth grade year based on what was happening in the world during this year. 
they shouldn't judge our lives by the cover. The cover of our lives were changed by this pandemic. This eighth grade year isn't something we should view as bad. Instead, our eighth grade year has made us stronger. There are many people that helped us through this year and all our years at Jefferson. I would like to take a moment to thank all of the teachers that helped give us our education and prepare us for high school and life beyond. To all of the families of the class of 2021, we thank you for your support and help throughout these years at Jefferson. Our education wouldn't have been the same without you. I would like to thank my own family for helping me through these three years at Jefferson. Every student in the class of 2021 has helped paint the cover of middle school. As the class of 2021 prepares to write our book of high school, remember not to judge the book of high school by its cover. Thank you, Ms. Dooley and Ms. Daly, for your messages to the students and families. While I'm certain that many commencement speeches around the world will spend some time on the difficulties that students have faced and overcome during the pandemic, this speech will not be one of those. It goes without saying that the 2020-2021 school year has been very difficult and challenges were abundant for all. It also is evident that students have done a tremendous job navigating all the challenges that they have faced. I do not want to diminish that at all. However, I do not wish to dwell on the past, but instead look, look optimistically towards a brighter future. Earlier this year, I heard a story on the radio that resonated with me. The voice over the radio began to explain that an elephant is trained by its trainer from a very young age when the infant elephant is only a few hundred pounds. The trainer will tie a rope around one of the rear ankles of the infant elephant. As you would expect, the elephant will struggle to escape. But because the elephant is small, the rope holds and the anchor is sufficient to hold the infant elephant in place. As the elephant continues to reach the end of the rope repeatedly, it learns that when it feels the tug of the rope on its ankles, it must stop and go no further. Over time, the elephant grows from a few hundred pounds to seven tons. At this point, the elephant can snap the rope easily or pull the anchor right out of the ground with its powerful trunk and immense strength. Yet when these powerful adult multi-ton elephants feel the tug of the rope on their ankles, they will stop and not go any further. The pandemic and all the challenges we have faced have been the rope tying us all down with necessary restrictions, limitations, and difficulties. But you must recognize that you are powerful, you are strong, and you must break free to re-engage in all that the next year will bring. You are moving from middle school to high school. You can either go forward a little and stop when you feel the tug around your ankle, or break free, the strong wildcat that you are, and drive into all that high school has to offer. Do not let this past year be the rope that limits you from moving forward. It's easy to settle back and let this past year limit your involvement in clubs, sports, extracurriculars, or stop you from nurturing your passion. You may want to stay at home and limit yourself to play it safe and see what develops. However, that's too short-sighted. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. I'm proud of what all of you and our staff were able to accomplish this year. You should feel proud of yourself for doing the best you could with hybrid learning, remote learning, in-person learning, live streaming, synchronous instruction, asynchronous instruction, and so much more. However, the question before you today is a new one. As the Jefferson class of 2021, what do you want for yourself for the next four years of high school? How will you reconnect with learning and growing? What will you do when you feel the tug of 2021 around your ankle trying to keep you back? I'm confident in your strength and your resilience. Do not hold back. Take next year full force and don't settle for less than what you deserve. You, like the trained elephant, are powerful and full of so much potential. Your parents can see that potential in you. Your teachers can see that potential in you. Now it's time to reveal that potential to yourself. The way I see it, in a world where cauliflower can become pizza, then you can become anything you want. I wish you the best at Willowbrook. I know you're in great hands. 
Now get moving, snap that little rope, and work on becoming the best you can be as the future Willowbrook Class of 2025. Show Willowbrook what a Wildcat can really do. While all of the students before you have earned our recognition today, the following students stand out as deserving of additional accolades. They are the recipients of the 2021 Presidential Award for Academic Excellence given to students who carried a grade point average of 3.5 or better during their entire three-year middle school experience and demonstrated high motivation, initiative, integrity, intellectual depth, leadership, and exceptional judgment. These students received their certificates and pin at the Jefferson Awards recognition last week and are proudly wearing the presidential pins today. The recipients of the 2021 Presidential Award are Nauris Ali, Fame Alka, Evelyn Amaya Herrera, Evelyn Barron Hernandez, Annalise Beres, Hannah Daly, Cameron Dooley, Christian Dusak, Jonathan Ewalt, Alexandra Garibay, Jesus Gomez, Peter Kabat, Nadia Carey, Arisha Khan, Sydney Lamb, Philip Palukowicz, Alexander Perez, Grace Pietrak, Ruby Piña, Oscar Ramirez, Kira Rice, Terence Ross, Jaden Royal, Julia Rosnowski, Mia Simmons. Congratulations to all. In addition to the President's Education Award, Jefferson Middle School annually bestows a number of very special awards in a variety of areas that we feel are representative of the characteristics of a successful and well-rounded middle school student. These awards are intended to reinforce and recognize the commitment to excellence that goes above and beyond reasonable expectations and to uphold the Jefferson tradition of refusing to settle for good, but instead, set our sights upon great. These students were recognized at our awards assembly last week and received a plaque to commemorate their recognition and are proudly wearing their medal today for their promotional exercise. The Perfect Attendance Award for attending school without an absence for three consecutive years and maximizing their learning and time at Jefferson, Jennifer Garcia and Oscar Ramirez. The winners of the 2021 ACE Award for Athletic and Competitive Excellence go to Annalise Perez and Joshua Pugnades. This year's Waldo the Wildcat Award winners for demonstrating exceptional school and community spirit through their involvement in a variety of extracurricular activities and programs go to Kira Rice and Oscar Ramirez. This year's Renaissance Award winners for exceptional creativity in the fine arts, music, and practical arts go to Antul Sadia and Caleb Moreno. The recipients of the 2021 Wildcat Way Award for demonstrating a high degree of caring for self and others a keen responsibility for learning and a noteworthy respect for the school environment go to Yanis Hernandez and Vincent Pichal. And finally, the recipients of our most prestigious award, the 2021 Thomas Jefferson Award for Academic Excellence, whose curiosity and scholarship best represent the example set by our third president and school namesake go to Mia Simmons and Fame Alka. These students stand out as models for all future Jefferson students to emulate. As such, the winners have had their names added to a permanent plaque that is displayed proudly and prominently in our front hallway. It is our hope that our current and all future Jefferson students will look at them as a reminder of what they too are capable of accomplishing. Congratulations to these outstanding students. At this time, we will begin the primary reason for why we are all present here today. We will begin the reading of the names of the class of 2021 at Jefferson Middle School. To read all the names, I welcome Mr. Peterson to begin the call. Anthony J. Alleman, Nerez N. Ali, Fame 
Michael Alka, Evelyn Suhey Amaya Herrera, Yohaira Diana Andrade, Martin Richard Anfinson Jr., Evelyn N. Baron Hernandez, Annalise Lee Barris, Zachary Lawrence Patrick Birdwell, Gregory Burke Carter, Adelina Arlene Carreno, Jamal Casas, Yael Castro Herrera, Brianna Charlize Comer, Jacqueline Cruz, Natalie Cruz, Alexis Grace Cunningham, Hannah L. Daly, Yanelli Davalos Maldonado, Azik Davila, Jordan Benjamin Davis, Giovanni Ventura Diaz, Nathan J. Dodmead, Cameron M. Dooley, Christina Ann Dusak, Diego Escobar, Gus Giovanni Espinoza, David Estrada, Devin Estrada, Jonathan T. Ewalt, Tyler B. Flagg, Camilla Flores, Luis Flores Flores, J.D. Estrella Fowler, Marlene Gallegos, Jennifer Susana Garcia, Mike Angelo Garcia, Rafael Garcia, Alexandra Garibe, Joseph F. Gelono Jr., Luke C. Gelono, Jesus Gabriel Gomez, Amber Grejales, Jessica T. Grimm, Ailani Guzman, Ayani Guzman, Maximus Owen Hagen, Diego Andres Hernandez, Yanis Lisbeth Hernandez, Justin Maris Hurtado Gonzalez, Sitlali Ibarra, Angela Jackson, Peter Cabot, Nadia A. Kari, Arisha Khan, Trent Christopher Kovacs, Sydney R. Lamb, Shania Sharice Lawson, Dante Cottrell Leach Jr., Dante Lewis, Betsaida Lopez Vasquez, Abigail Lopez Hernandez, Victor Javier Lorenzo Jr., Samuel Maldonado, Dylan Sherrod Mallory, George John Paul Malloy, Valeria Martinez, Liam C. McBride, Christopher Mendez, Frank Mendez, 
Julio Fernando Molina, Caleb E. Moreno, Robert Blair Mueller, Noe Munoz, Noemi Murillo Murillo Torres, Maria Charisse D. Musni, Diana Nicole Negretti, Jillian Penotes Nolan, Fletcher Ogren, Philip J. Palatkevich, Scarlett Parada, Alana Parker, Smit S. Patel, Leslie Lucero Pedroza, Alexander James Perez, Vincent Joseph Peschel, Grace Petrick, Ruby Maricela Pena, Francis E. Prado, Jaden Puckett, Joshua Andrew Pucknitis, Cody T. Rainey, Amir Amin Reyes, Christian Ishmael Ramirez Jr., Oscar Ramirez, Guadalupe Ramirez Avalos, Ryland Pedro Reddy, Kira Marie Rice, Angel Martin Rivas, Kevin Jason Rivera, Sergio Rodriguez, Terrence Jr. Ross, Jaden Michael Royal, Julia Elizabeth Rosnowski, Nayeli Yasmin Ruiz, Jacob Valentine Ryan, Amtul Aziz Sadia, Juliana Salgado, Elias Samayoa Fernandez, Diego T. Santa Cruz, Charles James Siegler, Pablo Edgardo Sierra Jr., Mia Dizel Simmons, Atsiri Soto Trejo, Logan Joseph Serabonian, Dylan Jonathan Strand, Sebastian Taboada Castaneda, Eliana Marie Torres, Jesus M. Torres, Daisy J. Trujillo, Joseph Vicari, Keely Villarreal, Kimberly Viegas Pasillas, Jacob Michael Wagner, Tyler James Zabilka. Now that our graduates have received their diplomas and all the awards have been presented, I would like to leave them with a few final thoughts before we close the ceremony. Graduates, over the summer, enjoy some well-deserved rest, relax with friends, but don't forget to read a few books and check the reading list that Willowbrook has posted online. Keep your mind sharp and ready to take on the next challenge in your academic growth and development. We've walked with you and learned from you these past three years, and it's time for you to move on. This past year was filled with many challenges, but you overcame them and should feel proud, confident, and ready for whatever challenges come your way in the future. You did it. In case it hasn't sunk in yet, 
you started the day as eighth graders, but as of this evening, you are now freshman Willowbrook Warriors and the future class of Willowbrook 2025. Go get them and show them what a Wildcat can do. Congratulations.